الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. After coming from the masjid, it inspired me, and I reflected on how many salams I gave and were given to me from people I didn't know. People who know me maybe from just the masjid, they've seen me, but the brotherhood of Islam is so great, it's so azim, and it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Kitabih al Kareem, إنما المؤمنون إخوة. Allah makes it bad and affirms for us that the Muslims are be- the, the believers are brothers. This is a characteristic of Ahlul Sunnah that we love one another strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't care if you're from Pakistan. I don't care if you're from the African continent, anywhere, from Ghana, from Nigeria, from Somalia. We don't care if you're from America or London. But we love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the shan of the believer. This is the affair of the believer. Is that they love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these are one of the greatest characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. That they believe in coming together on the truth. They give salams for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They help one another and visit one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what is the most important characteristic that they agree upon and that they unite upon that makes them Ahl Sunnah? This is the, 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 the affair or the, the, should be the importance of every believer, of every Muslim, is that they unite upon the correct itiqad, the correct belief that they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. His Lordship his right to be worshipped alone and that he is the creator of the heavens and earth and believe in his divine names and attributes in the way they were articulated in the Quran in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his own divine speech his perfect speech that he let us know that we should call upon him according to his divine names and attributes we should believe in them and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, spoken in the Quran, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and in accordance with the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he articulated in the in the sunnah, because the sunnah in fact is divine as well. Alayna bi sunnah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa al-rashidin al mahdiin The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat. Even in that, there's a few points of itikad right there. For one is that Ahl Sunnah unites upon the correct belief, the correct creed, the creed of Ahl Sunnah. We have the mokif of Ahl Sunnah in all of our affairs. Number two, we hold on to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, regardless of where, what, what country we're in, what state we're in, what uh, city we're in. But we hold on to the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. Another important thing, as the Prophet ﷺ uh, said in that hadith, he said, "Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-Khulafa al-Rashidin." Is that Ahl Sunnah loves the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. Ahl Sunnah loves every one of them, and we don't take away from any of their status, but rather we hold them in the correct status, and we love them, as the Prophet ﷺ said that it's from iman to love the muhajirin, and it's from iman to love the the Ansar. And this is what Ahl Sunnah is upon. We unite upon Kitabillah. Wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.